Hello and welcome to this video about um, digital outputs. I was doing a, uh, a review of this Emotiva player and I found it very technically competent. It had a great engineering, quality build, quality parts, you know, very good finish, good sound. So surely the output should also be good. And one of the subscribers asked, why don't we ever see on the internet outputs from AES-EBU? He said, all you need is dual trace oscilloscope, couple of probes, and put them hot and cold, and there it is. Surely it's not that hard. Well, it isn't, and uh, that's how it looks like. But before we go and discuss this, historically, historically all you ever got was um, Toslink and that was because it was considered to be superior to other forms of transmission because it was immune to interference and itself it didn't generate any so um, so you know what more would you want but with time as transmission rates got um, higher it couldn't do 192 kilohertz and 24 bit. So um, it sort of fell out of favor. And also in uh, audio press, reviewers were saying that uh, surely converting electrical signal to optical and back again, if the transducers are not of good quality, you'll lose the signal. Oh, it won't be true. Then again, <laughs> what they don't sort of say is that the electrical signal is converted many, many times, sometimes three and four, before it reaches the output and goes through flip flops or inverters on its way just to make it better and squarer. So then you ask, well, what's wrong with this? You know, why isn't that square? And why isn't that, as we were told, um, symmetrical? Why this is not a mirror image? Well, it's, it, to some extent it is because when one trace goes down, the other one goes up. And, you know, this goes up, that goes down. But, but of course, very far from a mirror. And, you know, careful observers will notice that... Uh, the axis of each trace actually um, in the middle of each of half screen but the traces are not so obviously there's some DC components so if we change coupling from DC to AC you see that the bottom half has already dropped and if we do the same to the hot side they are now more uh, symmetrical uh, as far as uh, horizontal axis is concerned, but still not square or, you know, not that good looking. The fact that they're not square, I think, can be attributed to the fact to the um, fact that um, from SPD it goes to that transformer, and then it goes to AESB. Or, I mean, I assume that's the um, reason. Um, they could have done it better if they did it on semiconductors rather than on the transformer, but I suppose, I don't know why they did it that way. To prove that this is the case, we can actually switch to um, SPD and see if it's any better. So I'll get rid of the hot sign and put an SPD signal. Uh, we can get rid of the cold. Let's uh, move it to the center of the screen and make it input more sensitive. And as you see, it is more square. Not brilliant, but you know, the transitions uh, uh, up and down are actually quite vertical and this is what triggers the DAC. But there is um, Hell of a lot, perhaps a third of a shoot, and then a lot of flutter. So, um, you know, obviously they didn't try to make it the best they could. Still much better than any Philips-based uh, unit, you know, like Moran's and these. 
are being used by as transport by some people. But you know, uh, not as good as some Sony's or, or, or proper transport. So my conclusion out of all this is that whereas electrical SPD and TOS uh, and um, ASEBU can be superior to TOSLIC, it doesn't certainly mean that they are, and I think in more than half cases they actually are not, and, and those uh, traces are very often pretty bad. So, um, like in this case, I would certainly use Toslink, uh, knowing what I know now. Um, and, and obviously they didn't try too hard, they, they, they made all those three outputs there, probably because to make it a fully featured player. But nobody would, in the right mind, would use that as a transport because it has a DVD drive. So obviously it's just no good for that. And, um, and also has a very nice analog stage on analog devices uh, 1955. So uh, it's certainly not a transport. So um, anyway, enough of my waffling. Uh, I think... Um, it, it sort of proves that uh, electrical is not actually better than optical as a mode of uh, data transmission. At least not when it's poorly implemented. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.